What's up, Big Brother fans? I'm Landon Dallitzing, and welcome to I.O., where we overload you guys with information. So guess who's here right now? It's Liza Stinton. Hi, I'm here. It's me, Liza from Big Brother Canada. What up? Oh my god, it's Liza. I was just watching you on TV, and you're here. I'm here right now. Me. Whoa. So what was it like to be casted for Big Brother Canada? It was the coolest thing in my whole life, and I'm super extraordinary. I live an extraordinary life. Big Brother Canada, the most extraordinary of extraordinary. That is a whole lot of extraordinaries. Okay, so for the audience out there who has no idea what Big Brother is and who you are, explain to everyone what Big Brother Canada is. Well, if you've been living under a rock for 15 years and don't know what Big Brother is, it's this amazing reality show where it's kind of like Survivor, but instead of living on an island, you're stuck in a house with 15 strangers. You're totally cut off from the outside world. No media, no reading materials, no writing materials, just drama and conflict and love. And then you get evicted from the Big Brother household, which is like getting voted off the island, except less starving and hairy armpits. Hey, and if you get evicted from the Big Brother house, you end up right here on IO. So Liza, what was the number one reason for you getting evicted from the Big Brother house? You just want one reason why I was evicted from the house? Because there are so many reasons. Let me think of my name. My biggest problem was I talk too much. People, if you want to be in Big Brother and win it, talk less, listen more. Clearly couldn't do that. Huh. You know what? The main reason I got evicted from the house is because I cared too much about people's feelings. I cared about Tom, I cared about Peter, I even cared that Gary was upset sometimes. Then I cared more about people's feelings than strategically playing the game to win. Lastly, I probably maybe shouldn't have gotten in such a showman. Less show, all mans. You know, maybe I shouldn't have fallen for two guys. So was there ever a time in the house that you thought you were gonna win it all but $100,000 was yours? You know, until the day I got evicted, I really thought I was gonna win the game. I think Peter and I were the two diabolical masterminds of the whole house, and had things worked out a little better? You know, the double eviction screwed me. So if there was no double eviction, and Tom left, and I got to stay in there and plot with Peter, I think we would've won the final two. So now that you've mentioned the double eviction with Tom, it was rumored all all over Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, wherever people are in the social media, that you guys got matching tattoos. Is that true? That is absolutely true. However, it's not matching tattoos that seems really lame. It was my idea to get the power veto tattoo, and Tom liked what it represented and what it symbolized, so he decided to join me in the solidification process of our Big Brother experience. So who got it first? Technically, Tom well, got it first because his was bigger and it looked, and I just wanted to not chicken out. I see. So you wanted him to get it first. If it looked bad, it's like, oh yeah. crap, it looked bad, yeah, I'm not getting this tattoo. Exactly. But we got them. His is on his leg, mine's on my ankle. And we encourage the rest of the Big Brother house guests to get one too, so we're just a big tattooed family. Cool. Okay, so the biggest question we all want to know, the showman between you and Tom, was it real? Totally real. Tom's actually really awesome. He looked like a big jerk on television with like an arrogant ego problem, but he's actually the sweetest, nicest, most caring guy ever. I actually just went to Edmonton for a week to see his home province with him and it was magical. Definitely it was our feelings for each other are real, whatever that means. So if you were to make a final two deal, who would it be with? See, this was part of the problem, that I sort of got evicted because people said I was making a final two deal with anyone. That's what happens when you're super likable. In week one, everyone in the house actually liked me, so everyone was trying to make final two deals with me. It was my fault. What am I supposed to say? Like, nah, I'm good, thanks, maybe next game. No. So, my fantasy final two was Peter and I. My next fantasy final two was Tom and I. My next fantasy final two was Jillian and I. My next fantasy final two was Tal and I. So if you were to pick one house guest, the most annoying person on the show, who would it be? Gary! Super annoying! Like super annoying from the first night we walked in the house. He literally exploded glitter all over the house and refused to clean it up because I don't think he knows how to work a vacuum. He also took up like 400 chests of clothing in the bedroom and took up like every drawer in the bathroom with his makeup and glitter and crap. So Gary's a 21 year old boy who doesn't know how to clean up after himself and just pretty much exploded his explosion juices all over the Big Brother house, which is baloney. Annoying. Now that you're outside of the Big Brother house, has your life changed at all? My life hasn't changed like extremely because I'm about to be 30 and I own a business so I'm a pretty together woman. The only way the show has really changed my life is one, I have Twitter now. I send tweets, look at me tweeting. I tweet stuff at BBC underscore Liza with like 8,000 followers even though Tom's totally beating me by like a thousand so get your friends to like me but just make sure they don't like him too because I need to beat him. And with followers, 
becomes haters. That's baloney. People out there actually take the time out of their day to tweet me like, Liza, you suck. Liza, stop being bitter. You're such a horse face, ugly whack. Biatch. And I'm like, really? This is your day? This is your day you hate me? But I love you because you're still thinking about me. How else has the show changed my life? Oh yeah, I fell for two boys. You know what that means for me? I gotta figure some stuff out. I gotta figure like love triangle stuff out because like I have feelings for boys who have feelings for me and I gotta figure out their feelings and like decide some stuff. But other than that, I mean my life hasn't changed at all.